Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about one of the most widely used tools in the IT world, VMware. A lot of you, when trying to download the latest version of VMware, face issues or don't know exactly where to download it from. In this video, I'm going to show you the entire process of downloading and installing the latest version of VMware Workstation Pro, completely free of charge, step by step, so you won't get confused at any point. What is VMware and why do we need it? For those of you who don't know what VMware is, this software allows you to run multiple operating systems on a single computer at the same time. For example, right now you might have Windows installed but you also want to try Linux. Or maybe you want to set up a second Windows system for separate tasks. Instead of buying multiple laptops, VMware makes it possible to run all of them on the same machine. Use cases. Developers can test their applications across different operating systems. Students and people learning networking and servers can build a virtual lab without buying expensive equipment. Normal users can install old versions of Windows and run legacy software. The really important point is that all of these virtual systems are completely isolated. So if one of them gets a virus or breaks down, your main Windows installation will not be affected. That's why VMware is also popular among people who want to learn in a safe environment. If you've seen my previous videos, we talked about getting Bitcoin price alerts on Telegram, and we used N8N for that. You can also see the video about N8N linked above. The interesting thing is that you can install N8N on Linux inside VMware, and this way you won't need to rely on the free limited service or pay for extra usage. What exactly is VMware? VMware is basically a hypervisor. This means it divides your system resources, such as CPU, RAM, and storage, across multiple operating systems so that each one feels like it's running on a real, separate computer. From VMware's products, VMware Workstation Pro for Windows and Linux, and VMware Fusion for Mac OS. A fun fact is that VMware has been around for more than 20 years, and many data centers and large enterprises still use these technologies. Before we start installing VMware, we need to make sure your system supports virtualization and that it's enabled. Checking this is simple. Press Control, plus shift plus escape on your keyboard to open task manager. Go to the performance tab and click on CPU. Look for an option called virtualization. If it says enabled, everything is fine and you're ready. If it says disabled, you need to go into your BIOS or UEFI settings and enable virtualization. On most modern systems, this option is already enabled. But if it's disabled for you and you can't enable it, let me know in the comments so I can create a tutorial specifically for the BIOS setup. Additional note, on some laptops, the virtualization option is located under advanced or CPU configuration menus. So make sure to check those if you don't see it immediately. Now it's time to download. Open your browser and search in Google. Download VMW ARE. Click the first official link that is not an ad. This link will take you to VMware's official website. Since Broadcom acquired VMware, all downloads and licenses have been moved to the Broadcom portal. So when you click download, you'll be redirected to a login page. At the top of the page, click login. Then click register. If you already have an account, log in. But for this tutorial, I'll assume you're installing it for the very first time. In the register form, enter your email address.
Complete the CAPTCHA and click Next. A verification code will be sent to your email. Enter that code and click the button below. And don't forget, if you don't see the email, check your spam folder. On the next page, fill in your details. First name, your name. Last name, your surname. Country. For example, Canada. Then enter your password. And confirm password, tick the box below. And click create account. Your account is now created. If the system asks for additional details, you can simply click, I'll do it later. If you get logged out after creating the account, just click login again at the top and log in with your email and password. Once logged in again, from the top menu next to your name, click Enterprise Software. And after that, from left menu, choose my downloads. In this page, click on free software, downloads available link to download it free. Select VMware Workstation Pro. Click here. Choose the latest version, which is VMware Workstation Pro 17.0, currently version 17.6.4. Remember, always download software from the official site so you know the file is safe. To activate the download button, click the Terms and Conditions link, tick I agree. Then click the download icon again. A verification prompt will appear. Click yes, enter your address, city and state information and click submit. Now you'll be redirected back to the previous page and you can click download again. As you can see, the setup file finally starts downloading. Before we move on to the installation part, let me remind you, if this video has been useful so far, don't forget to give it a like. It really helps the channel grow and tells me to make more tutorials like this. And of course, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss the upcoming videos. In the next tutorials, I'll show you how to create your very first virtual machine and even install Linux inside VMware. Trust me, you don't want to miss that. Also, feel free to drop a comment below if you had any issues during the installation. I always try to reply and help out.
All right, now let's continue with the installation. Once the setup file has finished downloading, double click the file. Welcome screen, click next. License agreement, select accept, next. Continue clicking. Next a few times, usually you don't need to change additional settings, but here you can adjust whether to create a desktop, shortcut or change startup behavior. Finally, click install. Once installation is complete, click Finish. And that's it. VMware has been successfully installed. Now you can see the program running on your system and everything is ready to start creating your virtual machines and using them. After your first run, make sure to check for VMware updates so you always have the latest security patches and improvements. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.